Milky Water. Daily. Bring them in. Take them outside. Hardening off plants. <sighs> Very hard work, but it pays off. This is a video for everyone who is a beginning gardener. Don't get discouraged. Because this year, the weather, probably everywhere, is playing tricky games. So things may die, things may struggle, but don't give up. Things even may get ate up by bugs. And I sprayed the stank out of it. It'll come out. It'll come back. So yeah, don't get discouraged. You can do it. Grow your own food. Preferably buy seeds. Because plants are very expensive these days. And seeds... Yes, you can try again. Okay, outside of that, we have a lot going on. Got some beans hardening off. And tomatoes, herbs, sunflowers, zinnias, squash, cucumbers, only one nasturtium, one Cosmo, but I'm not going to be discouraged. <sighs> Cucumbers, parsley. Okay, I want to talk about this. When this tomato plant was young, like that, I pinched the top off. See where those two little shoots at the bottom that starts? I saw someone pinch it off. So I'm gonna show you what I did. I pinched it off. And it was like that. Well, the leaf stayed on here but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter because here goes the plant look at that the leaf at the bottom died off and voila two shoots so this is a special tomato we're gonna keep an eye on it to see if yes you can get double the tomato by pinching them when they're small. Here, I'll show you an example. Small, pinch out the middle. And leave it like that. And this, ooh, bones, will turn into this tomato easily. I know you hear the lawnmower. I love to hear the lawnmower in the morning. It lets you know that spring is here. Summer is coming. The joy of hardening off summer crops in the springtime when the lawnmower is running and the grass is being cut after every rain drop. Okay, I'll try to do a little tour. Right here is just potting up, getting started. Right here is garlic, looking good. Chamomile is everywhere. This is very, very invasive. This and mint, all mint. 
If you don't want it, put it in the pot. But even in a pot, it'll come everywhere. See that pot coming out the ground? Chamomile. I love it. Great for teas. <laughs> extra kale to plant strawberries this may be the first red strawberry we got strawberries in a tower we got charred flowers potatoes potatoes potato 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 Tons of potatoes. I'm gonna leave them up here to keep an eye on them. Whereas before they were way back there and I didn't really keep an eye on them and fertilize them. So we'll be able to really check the potatoes. Doing good, doing good. As you see them pop up, you just add more soil until the pots or the bags fill up. Okay, we can go on to this great pot here with the strawberries. This is my single seed challenge. Never grown it. I figure I'll do a single seed challenge. I always do two with artichokes. Never grown it. And another one I never grown. Lupa. Never grown it. Now this one has gotten out of control. So I don't know if I should even take it out of here. I'll just open the bottom so it can go through the ground. But yes, we're going to try to grow Lupa. I heard it will really pull the vine up single seed challenge good luck single seed challenge good luck okay in certain areas here buy all my mint and yarrow I've put in seedlings in areas where I think I want to pot them up I've replaced this three times, like I said, because of the weather. They froze and died off. But this time, I've been covering them with whatever I have. Just a few onions on the side. But yes, cover it up at night until I'm pretty sure a couple more weeks and we'll be free from cold nights but yeah peas are doing good because they love the cold more potatoes peaches cover up Okay, here's something cool. These are flowers. I want to say they're called... Um, I'll remember in a minute. Beautiful, though. Evidently, it's a perennial in my area because I planted these three years ago. I want to say sweet alyssum or something. Maybe. We'll find out. Okay, back to the cold weather ruining things. Leaves die back because of the cold on the figs. But you can see that there's new growth coming on both of them. Because all the leaves froze and died off. 
this is my third year for figs so hopefully this is a good comeback i'll find out if brown turkey is cold hardy blueberries looking good i pruned them down and they're coming back I was so scared to prune them, but I went on and pruned, but I left one stem long anyway. So you can see it's getting growth to it. Love the orchard. Orchard here is figs, blackberries is what I meant to say. Blackberries, peaches, cherries, comfrey, keep all these plants looking good. See how that tiny comfrey plant from last year, I threw it on top of my plum tree and look at it, pretty cool. This is just a weed, you can snatch this out. 